Hello everyone, I'm Mitch Nanshan Matt, and in this video we're going to look again at how to subtract with regrouping or trading. This problem we're looking at is 400 minus 237, or we're taking 237 away from 400. We're taking 200s, 310s, and 71s away from 400s, 010s, and 01s. Important thing to keep in mind as we do this is the idea of equivalent. Two things are equivalent um, when they have the same value. So the equivalent means having the same value. These ten tens are equivalent to one hundred because they have the same value. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. These ten tens have the same value as this one hundred. And similarly here, these 10 ones have the same value as this 10. This is the 5 and 5 make 10. So these are equivalent, these are equivalent. So in this problem, if we don't have enough of something, we can keep in mind the idea of equivalent and we can trade 100 for 10 tens or 10 tens for 100 and we can trade a 10 for 10 ones or 10 ones for a 10, depending on the situation. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, we have 400, and we're going to start in the ones place. You see, we have 400s, but we have zero tens and we have zero ones. And the problem says we need to take away seven ones. So we don't have any any ones, so we can't do that. So we could trade a 10 for 10 ones, but we see we don't have any 10s. We don't have any 10s. So, well, we need to get 10s. So we can trade a 100 for 10 10s. So let's do that. We're going to trade this 100. Oops, didn't want to stay there. This 100 for these 10 10s. They're equivalent, so I can replace this 100 with those 10 tens. So we do that. And let me do it this way so you can see that there are 10 tens. So separate the groups a little bit, then you can easily see there are two groups of, of five. So we see five tens, five tens, so we see 10 tens. So we're still starting with 100. This is 100, 200, 300, 400. So what did we do? We traded 100, and that gave left us with only 300s, and we got 10 10s. We didn't have any before, now we have 10. Okay, so what do we do next? Well, we can say trade a 10 for 10 ones, and then you're correct. We're going to trade one of these 10s, because we started the problem, we saw we had to take away seven ones, and we didn't have any ones. So we're going to trade this ten for ten ones. So they're equivalent, so we can do that. So we need to place ten ones over here, and we're going to arrange them so that we can see that we have ten ones. Okay, so we see two groups of five. do? Well, we had 10 tens, and we traded one, so now we have 9 tens. And what did we get? Well, we got 10 tens for our 110. So we had zero ones before, now we have 10 ones. And I think we're ready to start the problem. We can take 7 ones away from 10 ones. So we'll take 7 away. So we'll take 5 away, 6, 7. See that we're left with three ones. Okay, can we do this? Yeah, we have nine tens. It says to take away three. So we take away three tens. And we can see five and one. So we see that we have six tens remaining. And we need to take away two hundreds. So we'll do that. And we have one hundred left. So our difference is one hundred sixty. 400 minus 237 is 163. Remember to keep in mind the idea of equivalent, that is having the same value. We 
when you have two things with the same value, one can be traded for the other. Hope you enjoyed and learned from this video. If you did, please, please press like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Say Kim.